I want to start off by making a point is that all of us can have an impact on, on the life of someone today. And so in our Bible reading this week, we're reading through the book of Acts and reading more specifically this week, chapters 13 through 17. And, in, and tomorrow we're going to read Acts chapter 16. As I was thinking about my invitation, I thought about the main message of these chapters is how someone can have an impact in someone's life. And so we're going to be looking at Paul and Silas and how they had an impact on, the, on Lydia and her family. And so in Acts chapter 16, verses 14 through 15, that's where we're going to look about the conversion of Lydia and how, and how they had an impact on, their, on her life. And so that reads, One who heard us was a woman named Lydia from the city of Thyatira, a seller of purple goods, who was a worshiper of God, the Lord opened her heart to pay attention to, those, to, what, they had, to what was said by Paul. And, she, and after she was baptized, in her household as well, she urged us, saying, If you have judged me to be faithful to the Lord, come to my house and stay. And she prevailed upon us. There are some powerful things that we can gather from just these two verses. And so let's consider a few points. Well, the Word of God has power to bring men to Christ and also is that we need to go out and teach the gospel. But then Paul and Silas, they went about looking for opportunities to have an impact. And so as we can see is that our impact, the impact that we give out, can have a bigger effect than anything we could have ever imagined. Because if you, if you look back at our main text, is that not just Lydia was baptized, but that one conversion led to her whole household being converted. And so... Let's just say if there are roughly about 120 people here in the audience. Well, you know what? If you just go out and you convert one person in, that li- in your life, maybe even five, maybe even ten. Well, you know what? That conversion could lead to so many different people is that they could go have an impact on someone. And they could go have an impact. And then they could have a go and have an impact on someone else's life. So why d- be discouraged whenever someone rejects the gospel? Why be discouraged whenever... We don't see people wanting to hear the gospel. Just one person could change the life of so many different people. And so one thing that we can start off by doing is that we have these wonderful business cards here at Westman Church of Christ. Give one of them out this week and try to discuss with them and try to say, it might not lead to a conversion, but it could have an impact on their life. And so in conclusion is that that one conversion led so many people is that we talked about conversion story. And so if you're here tonight and you have realized that I need to be baptized, I need to be converted, the water is ready right behind me. And that we're so, and that we'd be, we'd love nothing more. And so if you're subject to the invitation, please come to the front while we stand, while we sing.